Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some Tourist Bus Simulator. God, it's been a long time since we have been in this game. Um, we are taking out the Scania Touring... I don't remember the other number. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but we are <clears throat> taking out one of the Scanias. This is going to be interesting to say the least because this is a very big bus. And the roads in here are very, very narrow. So, uh, yeah, let's get in here and let's see if we even remember how to play here. Because it has been a while. Okay, we start the bus up. Let's see. We don't want to do that yet. Let's turn on the AC. Let's turn this down to about 21, possibly. And we'll open the back door. Turn all this stuff on here. Alright, people should start getting on the bus because this is not for a bus simulator. So we don't have to check people in or anything like that. Uh, do I want that mirror up? I don't believe I do. Um, let's pull this back a bit. There we go. And... Okay, there we go. I had to remember how to <clears throat> get all that. So, uh, first things first here. I don't want to get you guys, uh, like, excited. I don't have any information on this game. There's no new updates. There's, there's no anything, unfortunately. Um, I just wanted to play the game. I haven't played it in a while. And I really do enjoy it. So let's let's get going here. Again, it, it always saddens me <laughs> when I don't hear any news about this game. Um, honestly, it's been in a beta on PC like pretty much all year. I can't even remember when the the last update was. To that beta um, it really does feel like this game is just the redhead stepchild of the uh, the bus games for tourist bus uh, for tourist bus for TML um, and it's a shame because I absolutely love this game I, I do feel that this is such a good game Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, and what we're speaking of bus games, <laughs> I haven't even heard anything from Fern Bus either. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it seems like we were getting updates because of the DLCs but now all the DLCs are caught up with so it feels like I don't know <laughs> okay um You say so, dude. I know the, the last DLC that they put out, the bus DLC for Fernbus <clears throat> needs an update. There's some things on those buses that are broke. So that needs to get fixed. Um, I do know that TNL is working on an update to the football DLC. Now, I I don't there's there's no confirmation that that's coming to console. Okay, so whatever you guys may hear on Facebook or see on social media that other people are posting, um, I can assure you. That I have spoken with Nico at Aerosoft. I have asked him 
and he said maybe, but there's nothing confirmed. They have not confirmed anything. So, you know, I've been seeing people post on Facebook that, oh, yeah, uh, that it's coming. The DLC is coming. They're going to definitely put it on a console. Aerosoft has not confirmed that. TML can't really confirm that because, again, they have nothing to do with the console versions of their game. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're seeing things on like Facebook uh, or any anything like that. But what you can trust is that as soon as I find out information, like as soon as I find out from Aerosoft that yes it's happening, uh, I will let you all know and kind of my opinion on the whole football DLC is that it's good. Um, it would be good for the game on console, but at the same time, the game on console needs to get better. It needs, needs to be better optimized, I feel, before they put in something like that. Let's see if I can do this from here. Wait, let's... I'm trying to do this on my wheel, guys, so just bear with me. There we go. All right. Thank you for driving with us today or riding with us today, whatever. And thank you all for choosing our bus line to get you where you got to go. So the only thing I wish about this game... I kind of wish it was a way to know that you got everybody because sometimes I've driven off and I've left people behind and I, I swear I didn't see. <laughs> you know. Okay, we'll shut the doors. Let's take the break off here. So it is rather fun driving the buses around these streets. It is very challenging. It is very tricky, to say the least. These roads are so narrow, especially when you get to certain parts. I'm avoiding going to any of the, uh, what do you call it, the, the serpentine kind of roads. Yeah, I'm not, not going to bring these buses down those. That's going to be super stressful. Uh, if you want something really challenging, uh, take a bus like the Neoplan Skyliner and <laughs> bring those down those serpentine roads at night. And that's a challenge. But you know, again, when it comes to this game... Even though I'm not in the career mode, which is good, and I would love to be able to continue the career mode, but I can't. Um, you know, even just this, even just playing in, like, the sandbox mode, it, there's just a vibe to this game that you don't get with any other driving game. And I'll be honest with you guys, I absolutely love ETS 2 and ATS. I think those games are kind of the pinnacle of driving sims. But even they don't have the same kind of vibe that this game has. I don't know, it really feels like, you know, you're on holiday, you're in a uh, completely different environment. It's just fun. And I would dare say, if they got this game running to where I could, you know, play more in the career mode, I may enjoy this more than Fernbus. You know, and I know, you know, we've said it before, a lot of people will sit there and they'll say, oh, the map is too small. I don't feel it is. Like, you know, you have to understand this is, this is a real place. They can't 
they can't make this island bigger than what it actually is in real life. You know what I mean? Uh, they just they can't do that. That would be ridiculous. So this is based on a real location. Um, and once you get driving, and once you do the uh, the jobs in the career mode, and uh, when they're all round trips, it takes a while. You know, when you have to go the length of the map and hit like five or six stops, and then you have to come back and hit those same five or six stops on the way back as well. It takes a while, man. It really does. And really just, just the challenges of driving in these tight areas with these big buses is insane. You know, and I see people wanting even bigger buses in this game. And I'm like, are you serious? Because I'm, I'm kind of fine with the way it is. I will say, I feel like every single driving game out there that's a driving sim should have a button to, to center the camera where you just press the button and it centers the camera. It's so helpful. All right, next stop. Everybody own the bus. I mean, I still see people in my community playing this game. They're still playing for a bus. They're still enjoying those games, um, you know, even though the problems that they have. Okay, I think everybody's on the bus. Also, there's a few things that this game needs to get fixed also. Um, how many times can I say also? <laughs> but, uh, like the rain, you don't get any effects on the windshield or anything like that when you're in the bus oddly enough uh, if you're standing outside of the bus the bus looks wet you see the raindrops on it but not when you're driving the bus okay let's just take a look when there's nothing coming it's easy to make the turns when there's cars there <laughs> it's it's a lot worse Yeah, I haven't even driven all of these DLC buses yet in this game because basically, um, you know, I'm, I'm frightened, man. I'm frightened. I'm scared. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I feel, I feel like these buses are way too big for this area. These buses are ridiculous. Ridiculously big. Ooh. Okay, we took out the stop sign, I'm sure. <laughs> So the problem is, you have to take those corners so wide, but the AI, they won't give you the room. Like if they if they see you, if you're already in the turn, they will. But if there's cars already at the corner, they come right up tight to the corner. So it gets very tricky. Have a little oversteer there. Goodness. I 
I do like the environment in this game, though. It looks good. I was kind of on the fence of uh, the way it looked at first, because I was like, man, it's just... It's a lot of desert, but I, I kind of dig it. I, I like it. And the fact that it's very interesting that over here they don't really have signs telling you to slow down for upcoming curves and corners like we do in the US so you have to judge that for yourself but it's one of those things where the more the more you play the game the more you get used to the map You'll uh, you'll know where the curves are. You'll know where to slow down. You get used to it, just like a real bus driver, man. You know, just like a real bus driver. If you drove the same route every day, you'd, you'd know the road by heart. I mean, it's the same way for everybody, right? Like you drive to work every day, you know that route. You could probably drive that route with your eyes closed. I wouldn't advise it, but you could probably do it. You could probably do it if there were no other vehicles on the road <laughs> or, or animals or any other weird variables that you'd have to factor in. So, you know, they, they announced the whole PS5 Pro. Um, they talked about the specs, the price, and when it's going to be released, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just honestly not impressed. I don't see anything about that that would make, like, these games perform any better. And I think, hey, hey, okay, cool, 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 cool. And I think that's the important thing. Like they they showed so much about games that you know are already out, and already I feel perform well. That I just I just don't get it. I don't know. You know, to pay $700 on top of, you know, like the 400 that you've already spent on a PS5. And to just get a, such a, a marginal upgrade, it just seems so crazy to me. And to still have to have a performance mode and a quality mode... Nah. As much as I love being a console gamer, I uh, I do see the appeal of switching over to PC. Okay, you guys have a stop sign. I do not. Especially if I, if I think about all the money that I spent in the past on consoles. Ooh. Between buying the consoles, um, can you really, can you really count the games? Can you really put the games in there? I don't know if you could put the games in there, but the price of the console, the price of the yearly subscription to be able to play online and stuff. Um, any of the, the cost of buying new controllers and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I could have probably had like a top of the line gaming PC. We all could, we all could have. And I think the issue is now seeing where we're at in gaming and seeing the potential that the consoles have but they're just not really <laughs> really
dude, what are you doing? I'm, I'm backing up to try to get around you, and what you're gonna go the same way. Oh, now this guy's gonna run into me. <laughs> okay, that was just weird. Like I, I definitely had the right away. At least in America, maybe, maybe in the Canary Islands, their uh, driving rules are different. <laughs> I don't know, but it sure felt like I had the right away there. But then, I, I guess you kind of have to ask yourself, too, though, with some of these games, like this game in Fernbus. Is it the hardware? Or is it the devs not optimizing the game good enough? Or is it both? If I'm being honest, I really think that answer is going to be told when a game like... ATS or ATS2 comes out. That is the end of our route, guys. My God, that was so that was so fast. <laughs> I forgot how quick the routes were in this game. Um, but yeah, my, my point being is that, you know, until we get a developer that's a little more competent, a little more bigger um, to put out a game to see how it runs, um, I guess we don't know. I mean, technically, you could look at Farming Simulator. You could look at SnowRunner and see that those games run really well on, on consoles. So I think that could be a glimpse. Um, but, yeah, only time will tell. But that being said, that's where we're going to end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I missed this game. I think I want to play it a little bit more. I think I want to put a little more uh, content on the channel. I, I kind of want to get back into the PC version of it as well. I'm kind of stuck on that for now. Something... Glitched out. I think I may have to start the career mode over again. Uh, blah. I don't know if I do that. You know, maybe I'll just get out of the beta. Um, go back to the regular version because I wasn't having an issue there. Go back to that and play more of the uh, the career mode. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And we'll see you next time.